Being a Christian is an encounter with a person, Pope Benedict XVI. The Sundays of the 50-day or Pentecost season following Resurrection Sunday allow us to review a number of encounters with Jesus Christ. Each of these help us to realize the importance of such an encounter and the effect it will have on us. The encounter of the apostles, and especially Thomas, on that evening of the first day of the week completed their experience of the saving action of Christ. Their hopes had been crushed by Jesus' death on the cross and were buried with him. They had been dispersed by fear and now gathered in secret because the news of his resurrection, instead of renewing their courage, was cause of more fear. Their encounter with Jesus converted that fear into a determination to carry the good news to all peoples. They all, like Thomas, were invited to enter into the body of Christ. When the risen Christ called the myrrh-bearing woman by her name, Mary, she realized the resurrection was at the same time for all people and for each person. Her womanly role of putting the finishing touches on the burial of Christ was replaced into one of giving birth by cooperating with the Holy Spirit in bringing Christ to the world. The paralyzed man came to understand that the waters of the pool of Siloam were no match for the waters of baptism, in which we are immersed into eternal life. This eternal life gives us the ability to move about to follow our vocation to holiness. The story of the Samaritan woman helps us to understand the connection between the resurrection and our actions. Only when we accept Christ as our Savior do we enter into this new and abundant life. In the feasts of the Holy Ascension of our Lord and the descent of the Holy Spirit, we celebrate the possibility of a personal encounter with Christ no longer restricted to place and time. In the Most Holy Eucharist and the other holy mysteries, we experience in the most intimate way this encounter. May we each allow ourselves the possibility of such an encounter so that our common work will be effective in helping God to provide new life to all the earth. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen.